guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome make sure you hit that subscribe button in today's video I'm going to be for the first time ever doing a clothing try on haul and I've got a few pairs of shoes as well so yeah I'm pretty excited I've not done one of these before but yeah I've got items from Miller's, Crossroads, Kmart, Supre, Boohoo, Novo, all that kind of places so yeah let's jump into it so I'll start with what I've got at Miller's first. It's not really somewhere I usually shop. It's for the more of a mature woman. Um, but my mum kind of dragged me in there because she had a bunch of $5 vouchers. So I got just a, you know, um, a simple basic sort of like long sleeve shirt. I liked the khaki colour and had some lace detailing on the sleeves. So yeah, I thought that was a bargain. It's just a basic. So it's not like I'm going to look like a grandma wearing it. So yeah, I'll pop this one on. Just what that one looks like on. I just thought, you know, it was really comfy and nice for the winter. So yeah, I really liked the colour and it's not too tight either. So yeah, I really like this one. So Miller's, very rarely, but they still have some good, decent, like basic stuff in there as well. So the next thing I got was from Crossroads and this red definitely isn't a colour that I would always wear, but I thought this top was really nice. I got it online actually and I'm not really much of an online shopper but I thought this one would be something different because I've never worn it like this sort of colour before and it's got like the cutouts on the front and I actually got my size but I think it's probably too big like I didn't realise I need to go down a size for this shirt so I'll pop this one on. So this is what it looks like on. I'm hoping that it won't emphasise the fact that I have redness in my face but I thought it was a nice colour, but I probably could have gone down a size because it's quite baggy. But yeah, I just ordered my own size, which is what I normally would get. But this is pretty baggy, so I should pro could have probably gone down a size. So, But it's like nice and stretchy material, nice and breathable. So yeah, I thought that one was good for me to start experimenting with colour. So the cutout is not too low, so it's, it's nice for, like, say, an office situation or something like that so yeah i liked that one also from crossroads i did get i did get this one in store and i did go up a size just to make sure it was comfortable but i got this big black coat and it's got like ties that go around it but yeah i have not had a proper thick winter coat for a really long time so i really did want one this season and black goes with everything so that's why i got this one yeah, it's got like little pop suction buttons. But just pop in like that. I got upper size just because in case I was wearing it with like a thick jumper or something, then I wouldn't have to like worry about it being too tight. But yeah, that's what that one looks like. It just goes down to like the hips. But yeah. Definitely needed this season, so yeah, and it'd look great with like a scarf or something like that. But it's so thick and warm, and just ooh, love a winter coat. <laughs> Lastly, from Crossroads, I got this little white jumper. Just pretty simple, but it's got some like lace detailing down the side, and it goes into like a split. Yeah, I actually went down from my normal size, went down a size in this one, and it seemed to fit pretty well. My mum loved it. She's like, Kate, hey, you have to get that. Please get this, like this. So I got it. So I'm just going to pop this one on. So ignore the fact that I have a black tank top on underneath. Um, I couldn't be bothered going and finding a white one. But yeah, when I did try it on in the store, I had a white one on, so these like slits didn't look like too much because I had a white single one underneath instead of a black one. But yeah, it's got like three quarter length sleeves. It's not too thick. Yeah, I haven't... I'm so scared of getting, like, some sort of, like, pizza or spaghetti or something on this and, like, staining it, like, after one day. But, yeah, I thought it was pretty nice. And the slit detail was kind of cute. So that's that one. Got a big order from um, Supre. I don't think I'll try these ones on. But basically I got two of the... Um, black little singlets that I'm wearing right now and one white one and then I got three pairs of just like plain black leggings because that's what I wear for pajama pants so 
yeah i just wear those like supre like basic singlets under like all my clothes and stuff like that um and then um the leggings for bed so yeah got a bunch of that next i have a top from kmart i actually snagged this one on sale for like nine bucks but I did have to go up a size, which was all right because it's not that stretchy. So I kind of needed it in the end of it for my boobs and that. Um, but yeah, it's one of those tops that has like the neck thing, like the, the choker. I mean, I don't know if these are like in anymore. I mean, if they're not like, oh, well, like I still look good in it. But yeah, it, I thought it'd be something nice that I can wear to work because um, I do have two jobs, one in food and then one in pharmacy. So the dress code is black and white. So hence this and this <laughs> so that is what that one looks like on i wasn't able to get the zip like completely up on that collar because i can't really do zips behind me might need some help with that one but yeah i really liked this one because it's actually got two layers of material rather than just one so like everything else that had only the one layer it was extremely see-through but this isn't see-through so i really liked that and the fact that the sleeves are like flowy rather than like super tight because you know i do have bigger arms but yeah i thought this was nice and simple it's not too revealing so i can wear it to like work or something like that but yeah thought it looked not too bad i don't know i know this is kind of dated but you know oh well chuck a scarf on or something and you won't even see it so the rest of the clothes i have are from boohoo um and then i'll get into the shoes after that the first thing I got from Boohoo um, was this big woolly jumper, black one, but it's got like a lower cut into the neck, which you don't really see often, but it's a big black woolly jumper, and I actually went up a size, but I definitely didn't need to. Uh, when ordering online, I kind of get nervous that things aren't going to fit, and I just go up a size, um, which sometimes it's like, oh, thank God I did that, like, otherwise it would have been too small. Or it's a, damn it, it's a bit big, but it's a still okay. Like, it's not like it's so big where I could never wear it. So that's where I feel like going up a size. I'm definitely a lot safer. Unless you're shopping in a store where you know your size is going to be that no matter what. Whereas, like, I could get things from the one store and I could get my own size. I could go down a size in some things. I can go up a size in others. Like, I've just got that sort of, like, pear-shaped body where I can't... <laughs> Just wear one size. Like, I'm wearing different sizes for absolutely every single piece of clothing I have. So, yeah. Pop this one on. So, this is the jumper. It's pretty, like, oversized because I did go up a size. So, I guess I can just use it for, like, that oversized sort of style. Plus, it's you don't really see this sort of neckline in the jumper, which I feel like it's kind of, like, defeats the purpose because you're just going to get cold. But if you've got, like, a big scarf on or something like that, I guess that can cover that area. But, yeah. I really needed something like this and I feel like I could go with anything so yeah Whew. next top I got was this one with like a cold shoulder but it's also got these like details like in the front where it's like all crisscross and then it's got like the cold shoulder and then like the sleeve I did get my size in this and I didn't go up a size um but it fits so that's like thank god sort of moment so yeah, let's pop this one on. So this is this top on. It's got a very big cold shoulder, which is a lot bigger than the cold shoulder sort of tops that you usually see. So that arm is kind of a little like weird, but I guess it's just some getting used to. But yeah, it's, it's quite like flowy, so it's not really like too big on me. But yeah, this I thought the crisscross detailing was really nice. Um, and it shows off the girls pretty well as well. So this is definitely not a work top. It's more of a let's go party top. But yeah. I thought this one was pretty cute. So the next top from Boohoo is this little white and one with like the back black detailing on the front. Um, pretty simple. I bought it hoping that it would be suitable for work, but it's just that kind of material. It's the quality isn't as good as what it looked online, which I guess you've got to expect. Um, I did go up a size in this one, um, but yeah, it's quite a short. Like, I mean, it might be long for some people, but for me and my body shape, it's like, it's really short and it just hits in a weird place. I'll, I'll pop it on for you. So yeah, ignore, again, ignore the fact that I'm wearing black underneath this instead of white. But yeah, you can see how see-through and like bad quality the material is. And yeah, it's, it's, 
it's like baggy but it's like tight like down here because my waist does go in quite a bit like here and then like springs out from my hips but yeah I feel like because I need a bra on and I need a single on underneath that's just how I am so having all of these straps like the model didn't have like a strapless bra on obviously but I feel like I'll just have to wear like a cardigan or a um little blazer or something over top of it which I do at work anyway but yeah quality didn't come out that great but I'm hoping it would look a little bit better with a white top underneath but yeah it's pretty simple just something I can wear underneath stuff at work but yeah Quality wasn't as great as what I thought it would be. Top I did buy with intention of getting it for work, but it's quite short of a top. So yeah, it's just like spaghetti straps with like sort of fringe detailing and it's like sheer, but it's got like a second layer and the second layer is like quite shorter than like the original layer. You can see that it's like there and then there. But yeah, again, it would have to be a top I would wear underneath like a cardigan or a blazer or something just because the way that these straps are and it, it kind of makes me look a little bit boxy with like my shoulders and that so it would definitely need like something over top that's that one on there it's quite hits me quite short but that second layer underneath comes like all the way up here so yeah I definitely need something over it if you know what I mean this just kind of like boxes me I feel like but yeah if I had like a little blazer or something over top of it it would look alright but yeah it's something girly it's not too revealing for work so yeah pop a little blazer over top of it i'm sure that one will look really cute at work this top i had bought attention for work as well however i mean i even did go up a size in this one as well but i feel like it's too short to wear at work and it's way too booby to wear at work but yeah it's kind of like a wrap top and it's got like frills down the side and down the bottom and on the sleeves and stuff but yeah, this one is very short and shows a lot of boob. So I don't think I could like wear this to work, but I'll show you. This is the top here. You see, it comes up really high and it's quite short. I don't know if you can see because it's so black, but it comes up really short. The sleeves are really cute, but yeah, it's extremely low cut here. Like I would probably need to like pin it or something, but it's like a wrap top. So you can't really, you have to like tie it on the side and it's tight as like tight as it'll go so yeah more of a party top than a let's serve old people medicine sort of top but yeah I still thought it was cute it looked way cuter on the model but the model wasn't plus size she was like a size zero so obviously it looked cuter on her and she had no cleavage it basically looked like that on her which was what I thought I would look like but no the girls are at to play now the last top I got was like a jumper and it basically is like really long like a jumper dress but like too short to be a jumper dress but it's got I did go up a size in this one it's got like the neck there like that tricky neck and then it's got like a crisscross pattern at the cleavage like over there so I'll put this one on so this is the top here it's really like long but the slit comes up really high so there's this like all of this sort of like to the sides but yeah this is actually like quite tight which is actually nice so it doesn't always hang open for me but yeah I didn't buy this with attention to wearing it to work obviously because this whole situation is not elderly person friendly you know but I thought it was like, cute detailing something good for maybe spring I know it's winter now but as soon as the weather gets a little bit warmer and you don't need a jacket as well and you can like I thought it looked cute I, I'm more of a black clothes person I like black clothes so this definitely I thought was a good one see I got is something I don't usually buy online but I got a pair of jeans um and yeah I'm ne believe it or not I've never owned ripped jeans before so I got ripped jeans my mother my grandmother my whole family is gonna be like why did you buy jeans with rips in them I like all oldies do right I went up a size in these and I'm kind of grateful I did because they're very like not very high-waisted at all and I really do prefer high-waisted like because it just kind of like sucks you in and I'm not, I'm not going to be as scared of getting like plumber's crack or anything like that a full moon or anything but yeah I took a took a risk got some ripped jeans online 
So I'm gonna try these on. You can see these are the jeans. They've got like cuffs at like the bottom. But yeah, basically just normal blue jeans, but with lots of rips in them. And then last, but not certainly least from Boohoo, I got a dress and I went up a size in this one as well. Yeah, it's just black, long sleeve, kind of like a skater skirt, but like it's got like all around like the side and stuff like that. It's got this sort of like, the detailing is kind of like a, like a bump, bump, bump. I don't know how to describe that, but yeah, I thought it would be something a little bit cute. It comes down into like a V, so I'll pop that one on for you. So this is the dress on. You can see that like bumpy detailing and it comes into some nice cleavage action there. But yeah, it's not too short on me. And I like to had sleeves, if only I had pockets. But yeah, you can definitely see my figure in this dress, how my waist really cinches in and then like my hips just like pop out. So you can definitely see the pairness starting down here, but I really like it. It comes down to just above the knee, which is where I really like the length. So I'm really happy with it. And I was really nervous about shopping on Boohoo because I've heard a lot of things about how cheap the quality is. And I'd say some things are really cheap quality, but some things are actually really decent quality. Yeah, this is pretty decent quality, I thought. And yeah, cute dress. So now, let's get into the shoes. These first shoes I did get from Spendless Shoes. Um, they're just some like flat boots. Needed them for uh, my pharmacy job, so got those. I mean, I would prefer something with a heel, but the dress code says no heels, so I had to get flat shoes, so I thought these would be nice. I keep my ankles warm this winter. Also got a few pairs of shoes from Novo. The first shoe I got was this sort of like booty with like an exposed heel and an exposed toe. Um, but yeah, it's got like, I don't know if the camera will be able to show you, but it's got like all of this rib detailing and like a zip. But yeah, I thought those were like super, super cute. Next, in the same size, so I don't know why it's like so, like it looks massive, but I got this like rose gold like heel with that, like that there, and it looks really big. Like I don't know, it's the same size, so I don't know why it just, it looks like it's gonna be way too big for my foot. But yeah, I thought rose gold looks so pretty, and these shoes would go with absolutely anything, so. Really cute from um, Novo. And the last pair of shoes, I went kind of crazy and got red. I know, like, I'm not a big shoe person. Like, I don't own a lot of shoes just because, like, I don't have much money. But I've always wanted a pair of red shoes. Every woman, like, loves, like, red stilettos, like Christian Louboutin. But, yeah, these ones were cute because they had not only the there and there, but also had one in the middle. So I thought it gave it a little bit of something extra. And like it's not super high, like I can walk in heels fine, but like once it gets, it starts getting really high, that's when I'm like getting slower and slower. But yeah, these sorts of heels I can walk in normal, like totally fine. But yeah, I thought red heels, like I totally need to get those. So yeah guys, that is everything I got. Um, I'm just so broke right now and definitely need to stop shopping. But yeah, definitely on a spending ban. I know I've said that before, but I mean it this time. I'm not spending. I haven't, like, I bought this stuff over the past couple of months and I'm not going to be buying, I, I'm not buying anything else. Like, I, not until I'm in my house. <laughs> so yeah, if you like the video, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.